Welcome back to Sailing with Faith. Uh, this is about purchasing a prop from eBay and refurbishing it. You can see how rough it looked when I got it. Um, kind of looked on the edge of its uh, lifespan. But this is what we did after uh, a lot of polishing and boring out, facing off and adjusting. Um, this is what we ended up with. So welcome to Sailing with Faith. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, you can get all the information about ball dimensions on the internet. Uh, this is a 1.25, uh, one and a quarter inch shaft. So my target was 1.016 as far as the small end on the board that I needed to machine it out to. It's a one inch 16 taper. And this is the setup on the lathe. So you can see I'm using a four jaw chuck, using two chucks. I set off the angle, that actually is about 3.6 degrees. I set that up with um, a, a, a digital dial indicator um, and then um, started machining the prop out. The setup was quite critical. It has to be centered between those two jaws and also the, um, the prop blades had to be the same height, so using feeler gauges against the chuck to get it, uh, make sure the bore was perpendicular to how the blade was going to run in the water. So you can see me checking, and um, I think it was taking 10 thou cuts uh, as we go through. Um, and it cut very well. It took quite a while because it was, uh, I think, it was 5 8 shaft originally, and I was going out to um, 1.016 on the small end uh, that's where you target so gradually taking cut after cut after cut um, getting good curly Q swarf coming off so it means my cutter in there was good the cutter height has to be central to the um, down the center line of the lathe and you can set that up in various ways. Uh, so as I was um, going through, I would stop and check and then that's the faced off uh, portion of the, the bore there. So that's um, final check on the diameter. Target is 1.016. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so that is 1.0155. That's half a thou under, more than acceptable. If you're plus or minus, five thou is going to work. So that's almost spot on. There's the setup. On this lathe, I also had the ability to set the angle in um, this y-axis runner that you can use um, but i opted to use the the cross slide which can be an, a y or an x um, and i just set the angle on the cross slide and did it by hand the the other version is if you want to uh, use you know make longer longer cuts and let it feed itself for this one, I had to do the feeding myself. So that's the lathe. That's where, what it looked like before I started. And then that's the finished product. So very pleased and I'll be fitting that in a couple of weeks or so. Like I say, I've got to get the boat on the hard. I'm going to Brown's Marina on the James River and um, we'll swap that over. But that's the finished product, I'm very pleased with that. Oh, I've got to put the keyway in. Um, keyway, of course, got machined, most of it got machined out and looked like it was incorrect beforehand, so we'll be correcting all of that. And it's balanced, I checked it, checked it on a bearing, balances very nicely. So please like and subscribe. So you can be notified of the next video showing our sale to Browns Marina the transom repair, the bottom scrub and the prop reinstall.